and welcome to the crack of dawn. I'm Dawn Lombardi. I'm your hostess for the night. We are painting tonight with Brett Erickson. Here he is. He's a great Thank friend you. of mine. Hi, Brett. Hi, Dawn. Now, he drove kind of like Larry came from New York last time, but you're coming from the Boston area. From Brookline, yes. From Brookline. Now, is that, so I went to BU. Is that near the campus on BU or is it more towards BC? It is closer to BC. I'm closer to BC. It Cleveland is. Circle. Yes. Cleveland Circle. I live in Washington Square. Washington Square, it's called? Really? Yes. Oh yes. my God. And then, does it have shops and stuff? Like a. Has a lot of nice little restaurants in the area. It does? Yep. And then some shops in Brookline Village and then uh, Brookline Coolidge Village. Corner as well. The really? Coolidge Corner Theater is right there. God. Saw was... Barbie there recently. Oh, you did? You saw the Barbie? I saw Barbie. Movie? Really? Loved it. Oh, God. Yeah, we're going to talk about the Barbie movie. That's where you saw it, though? So this it is. is. And can you walk to your house from many places? Can you walk? I to... can. I can walk to Fenway. I can walk to downtown, to the oh, North God. End. It's it's all walkable. It is? From it Brookline? Is. Yeah. It's You're all kidding. walkable. Yeah. I can't believe it. Is Brookline on the water? Charles River? Or Nathan? Brookline is not on the water. Okay, no. not on the water. No. But it's, uh, what's bordering it? Uh, Chestnut Hill. It is? Newton. Okay, got yeah. Uh, Boston. Char what about Charles Street, where like Cheers is? Is that near it? Can you walk Not there? even close. Okay, not even close. Okay, well, we're getting there. Yeah. But anyway, Brookline, Brookline, Massachusetts, so yep. that's nice. Well, we're painting tonight. You also have a place in Wellfleet. I do. Mass. So we are, that's kind of Cape Codish. So we're kind of doing this well free. I mean, there's a lot of Cape Cod houses that look like this. There are. Yeah, so we're doing this and then Brett and I are just gonna chat while we're showing you this. So I've got a picture of another painting that I did a long time ago. I don't know if you can see it. And we're doing the same thing pretty much. I told them, just don't worry, try to copy the colors and we'll see how this comes out. And we're just gonna talk about Cape Cod, a little bit about Boston. Uh, Brett was in TV and radio for a long time and uh, you know, I'd like to know about that because we haven't seen each other in so long. We have not seen each other in a long time. But every time we do hang out, like we have the same circle of friends. We went to high school together. I think we're on that one now. When the light goes off, we look there. Um, but like every time a friend of mine would have a party or Christmas, because we're both from Northampton, Massachusetts, you know, every time we have a high school reunion, which seems like all the time. Our mothers hang out. Our moms hang out. Does your mother play bridge? With my mother? mother does not. My father plays bridge. So he plays with my mom. Okay. And then I don't know what your mother do. Maybe she's like, I don't know. But that's oh, yeah. what they do. They play cards. So our parents are friends and they live in Northampton still. I was just there last night visiting my parents. He was, he, he came from Brookline today. Yes. But do you go to Northampton every night? I do. I was there a few weeks ago. My See? sisters live there. And yeah. Uh, yeah, my parents are still there. And... and it was nice there. So I always tell everybody on the air how nice it was growing up there. But Anyhow, we'll, we'll chat it up. We're going to keep painting. Now, remember, if, you keep, if you're painting, keep the picture that you want to paint next to you. And then you can even paint right on the picture if you're trying to match a color. So hopefully we'll be done with this. And um, you'll get a nice little cute painting. Don't forget to paint the sides. And we'll see at the end how they look like. So, um, so yeah, I always say to everybody that is from the Northampton Amherst region or whatever, um, most people went to UMass Amherst. So I'm assuming you probably went there. I did as well, yeah. UMass? I started there, uh, UMass, and then I... Um, oh, wait, first you went to Northeastern. Yep, Northeastern first, and then yeah. UMass, and then... Uh, a little darker blue. You know, I got into radio and television and a little writing. Yeah, did, did you Ooh, take that up in um, college? Did you do... No, no, or communications. Okay, communications, okay. And then, um, yeah, I've spent the last 30 years in Boston. I've, really? I've loved, I've lost, and I've loved again. And where did you work in Boston? Like, if you got up and went to the radio station, or you got up to uh, WEI, Sports Radio WEI. Was there a place, or were they like, there was. the Celtics? No, the there was a place. It was um, kind of near the GBH building, yeah. um, right in there. And then I would cover teams, and I'd go to the Red Sox games, and the yeah. Celtics games, and What were your Patriots favorite games to go to? I love the Boston Celtics. You I noticed there was a desk over there from the 2008 championship. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, God. Behind us is a desk donated from ESPN, so thank you. And Brett worked, wait, you worked for them? No, WEEI. Worked for WEEI. Celtics radio at the time. And then covered the, so went to the? Went to the finals, 2008 finals. Yes. At the Madison Square Garden? Where were they at the time? I don't even know. That wasn't even there. Oh, my God. I know, I'm so bad. Madison Square Garden, really? Was it there? No, I'm Boston sorry. Garden. Boston Garden. <laughs> Oh my God, now it's called- you really TV. know your basketball. I know, it's bad, it's bad. No, but it was it was ours always called, like, what do they call it now? Didn't they change the it name? It was the Boston Garden, then it was the Fleet Center, um, so briefly. They did change it, the and then, across the yes. Yeah, yeah um, 
now it's the Garden again, I believe. So your favorite thing is going to a Celtics game? Yeah, Celtics oh, game. Um, yeah, I'd say so. Um, it's and easier than... who was in that game? Who was in that? Uh, that Paul course? Pierce, Kevin Garnett, oh. Ray Allen. Paul Pierce was number 44, right? No, uh, 34. Okay, Pearl. 34. Pearl, Pearl, Pearl. Pearl you're back Pearl. to New York I again. Know, I know. You love your New York I games. I don't know anything about it. Being from Connecticut. So, so that's that working for the radio and the television is a lot of fun being in Boston. Yeah, I mean, it's during, it was a great time, a lot of winning, um, great experience. Yeah, the Red Sox won. Celtics won. So this was Patriots like 19, won. Right when I graduated, like 1990s to the 2010s, okay, like, yeah. 2013. So when everybody was like getting married. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's the wrong time. Okay. The green showing Brett that we're just mixing yellow and green because both the, the yellow looks cheesy and the green looks cheesy. So you mix it together and it turns into sometimes something what you like. Sometimes not. You can also, yes, you're doing exactly. He's doing exactly. Let me show his quick. So see, we've got two different ones. Don't forget, he just said, I know nothing about painting, nothing. And then when he got here, you know what we did? I showed him, I was gonna go by my house, which is totally fine. But instead, sometimes when people are visiting, I go down in the nicer areas, <laughs> which is not far from my house. Well, it's a wonderful little town. But it's gorgeous. I took him like through like Miss Porter's, you know, even though my house is like right a ball throw away, it's still not Miss Porter's. So like we went by that, and then if anybody's from Farmington watching this, there used to be the grist mill, which I took him there, which is now the, um, the visitor's center. So if you're trying to like get your, you know, you want your kid to go to Miss Porter's and you know, your parents are paying 70 something grand to go there, you know, you want it to look nice. So the visitor's center is now where the grist mill is in case anybody wondered what happened to the grist mill. But I mean, they got the waterfall. It's beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. You know, I, 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 I have not been to Connecticut in Probably 20 years. And it's close believe it or to not. I know. And to be on Netmeg TV. Yeah. See? It's Wait, what special. did you get at Netmeg the last time? 20 years ago? Probably um, Smoking Leather. Where was that? It was a head shop. It was? <laughs> it was. Like and we would go from Northampton. Like Old into Glory? The, exactly. Yes. Like Old Glory. Okay, that's hilarious. Yeah, so I think that's what we did in high school. And imagine, we didn't have anything like that in Northampton. No. No, it was like, it was wild. And then they acted like it was Polly Purebred. Yes. All the skateboarders, they were. They always got in trouble. Remember that? They did. And they never really With their vans. bad. Uh, well, just... Bad they outfits. annoyed people on purpose. They annoy people, yeah. You know, when you see like a TikTok and there's some guy and you're like, go away, why are you bothering people like that? That's kind of what they did on purpose, but literally they didn't do anything wrong. Do your kids skateboard? Nope, no, nope, they're not into skateboarding. But we had a really cool skateboarding crowd in Northampton. It was just a cool way to get around. There was nothing wrong with it. The kids all that skateboarded were really cool, if not super talented at not just skateboarding, but other stuff. Art. Remember, it was like kind yeah. of a neat crowd. It was. Yeah, it was kind of nice growing up there. But Brett was saying like, so your kid, he has a kid. Uh, is he t eight I have or 12? a seven-year-old boy and a 17-year-old. Seven and 17. You're kidding. No. Both boys. Both boys. You're kidding. No. Oh, my God. I'm older than I look. I can't even believe it. Okay, so the one, obviously, the one that's my kid's age, because I have a 19-year-old. You've got a 17. I've got a 16. Does he still live with you, too? He does. Yay. He's, I love that. going to a senior year of high school. He is? Yeah. Does he go to Brookline High? He does go to Brookline he High. He does? Does he play yes. football like you did? No, he does crew. Oh, he does? Oh, He's that's huge. Yeah. Oh, crew's big. I was the uh, manager of the crew, women's crew. No, the men's crew team at Boston University. Really? Yeah, I only lasted like Moon and Tress. No, it was Moon and me. And we only lasted a little bit because we were freezing and it was so dumb. We, we made fools out of ourselves because clearly we wanted to be around guys that were rowing. Yes. But it was freezing because they're rowing at like five in the morning, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. On the Charles River, does he row on the Charles? He does row on the Charles, yeah. Yeah, so we were at the Boston University Boathouse, which is next to the yeah. Harvard. Yeah. It's all there. It's all there. Northeastern has a nice boathouse. They do. Yep. They do. So his boathouse is right there, too? Yep. His Jesus. boathouse is right there. It is? Well, they'll bring their boats in from Brookline. And he's not the coxswain, right? The no, no, the but he was no, just no. named captain. Really? Congratulations, oh, Yonatan. That's huge. What's yeah. his name, Yonatan? Yonatan, yep. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations. Yeah. That's huge. Isn't it? Yeah. There's a kid from Farmington. Hi, Nick Duncan. So it's, they only take 8% of kids, well, people, in the Navy. No, I think, yeah, he's with the US, United States Navy. So he got in for rowing. Isn't really? That cool? Yeah, because they don't, and he's smart too. It's not like he just got into rowing. He yeah. definitely had good grades because they don't take anybody. But that's what he's doing, rowing. Oh, wow. So congratulations, Nick. We love him. 
Yeah, so he's rowing for that. Oh, so do you think he'll uh, row for college? Pop? No, uh, I don't think so. I think okay. he wants to have fun in college. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I just uh, think he's the type that'll take off to like San Francisco and leave you guys in the dust, maybe. Uh, you know, he's yeah. looking at like Wesleyan. And, oh yeah, that's near here. Yeah. Yep. A few other schools. Actually, so. hi, Rich. Rich is usually our cameraman. Tonight is, is Nate Dion. Hi, Nate. Nate's doing all our work oh, tonight. Oh, Nate has been I know, fantastic. We love Nate. We can see. Isn't he great? He is fantastic. And it's usually Nate or Rich or somebody down here. So if you're ever doing Nutmeg Television and you're like, who's going to be my camera person or whatever, I use my, I, I don't bring in a whole crew. I have a whole crew. What would I need more than these people? No, it's amazing. They're no. so good. Yeah, and we're busy mixing. I mean, we have Dixie plates, you know, that you buy at ShopRite. Now, are the prices outrageous in Brookline? I mean, it's the United States of America. It's, so like a yeah. bag of Lay's chips, two oh. for seven dollars, like here, or two for nine dollars? Oh, wow. Two, two for, for nine? Two for nine. Yeah, same as here. It's getting crazy. Yeah. I mean, we're lucky. I'm lucky I can afford it. And I also, Brett, I try not to, what I try not to do is even complain or worry about it. Like, <laughs> you know? Honestly, I am blessed. My life has been fantastic, so I would never complain about anything. See? Yeah, it's just, just this painting. Yes. It looks brutal. Let me show him again, okay? Because we still have time. He, has, he hasn't even come with the 10 minute sign. <laughs> and thank you for tuning in. So I was telling Brett, I went to coffee with my neighbor, and we always try to you know, find a new place around town, which, which people like to do. And a guy came over to me and he said, Are you Dawn Lombardi? I watch your show. And I was like, What? You're kidding. I got so excited. So, Gary, hello. God, I saw him at the Unionville. Uh, restaurant and he was in a wheelchair hi Gary I felt so bad for you with that and then I asked him what happened because that's what Donnie does and my kids get all mad mom what are you doing and I'm like I'm asking a question God now do you think you recognize your voice or your face I don't know because I you look like kind of like this I had my hair back I was wearing these same pants mm -hmm. they're my daughters oh. and I asked him what happened and that's when my kids get mad they think I'm too nosy but I wanted to ask him and he said he got hit by a drunk driver when he was 22. Oh. Uh huh. And he was a Vietnam vet. So, wow. you know, talk about two, like, blows. Yeah. Yeah. So that's another thing why you just said, I don't complain at all. I'm grateful for what oh, I, have. I have. My health. I'm yes. breathing. I wake oh, I up breathing every day. That's very important. <laughs> that's what I try to do. So, like, anybody at home that's like, a lot of people, you know, They'll say, oh, the, like even my sister sometimes will say, oh, your kids, they didn't have it good with the COVID and all. And I'm like, well, you know, actually, if you ask my kids, my sister's a little bit right. But if you ask my kids, they're the types that, you know, they loved staying home with the camera on. I mean, it's as pathetic as it sounds. They were like, mom, we loved it. I'm like, oh, God, that doesn't sound good. But they loved not having to get ready, get on the bus, yep. go to school. Take you know, they had teachers that didn't make them put the cameras on all the time. And... You know, they kind of liked it, but I know a lot of kids struggled. So, you know, it's different for everybody. But your kid was probably young, right? Yeah, he is. Was. So you, what did you say? It's the 9 to 17 and 7. 17 and 7, yeah. The other is going into second grade. Yeah, perfect. Hello, Adam. Does he love it? Hi, Adam. He second does. grade. Does he love? Oh, what's his favorite thing to do in school? Build things? Not, Legos? Legos. He doesn't love Legos, I know. Like believe it or not. Yeah. He's, a, he's more of a sporty kid. Yeah. He loves his football and he loves football. soccer and... Do they yeah. have programs at the school? Probably. Oh, no, not where cool. he goes to school. No. They're a little young, but he, you know, it's. So you can do extracurricular it, stuff exactly. outside of the school. Exactly. Now, if you're ever painting white, a lot of my kids are like, "How do you mix white?" or something like that, and I just say, "You know what? You can leave. You can leave it white. It looks nice to have that nice fresh coat of paint on it, and plus you could put blobs and stuff, and it looks nice. But if you can't." I always tell people, just leave it white. Now, would you use and another brush or white, no? You can go like this. You can. And you also have like mini versions of what you have. You know, it's always good to have a couple on the side. And the other thing is I tell people all the time, don't worry if you're not good at art, because people, you know, they think like, oh, I feel so bad. I never really painted with my kid or, you know, I, I wasn't good at it to begin with. And like, they don't even care. None of us know what we're doing. I can't even see that. Does it say five or ten? It says ten minutes. Ten minutes. Can you believe it? That's how bad my vision is. But I go to Eric Dossel. <laughs> so we went to high school with the guy, Eric Dossel, and he was on your football team, right? Uh, yeah? Yeah, I guess so. I, I think he was on the football team. At, I think so, at the yeah. End high. But you were more lacrosse, I think. Uh, yeah, I was more lacrosse. And that yeah. was like Mark Ames, who else played? Yes, I think I have a Massachusetts record for lacrosse. You do? I was a goalie, and I gave up six goals in a minute and a half. 
That's got to be a record. Is that good or bad? That's really bad. It is? It's really bad. That's what happened to you? Six goals in a minute and a half. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Thank you, Long Meadow. Now, when you're... <laughs> do you get a bigger freaking thing to fetch the ball with? I yeah, think? it didn't matter. It didn't matter. That's got to be hard, one. though, even if you have a net. It's like catching a... Oh, God. Yeah, it's... it's I remember Rachel Topel asked She Rachel. did. She said, let's join the boys of lacrosse team. I said, are you out of your mind? She said, it's Northampton. And you know what our coach said? He said, hit her as hard as possible. Good. Can you believe that, yeah, though? Yeah, I don't mind. Because couldn't it, say that today. No, you couldn't. My dad did the same thing. He was a chemistry teacher, and he had a box that said, boys broken glass and girls. And any time the boys broke the glass, he was like, dump it in the girls. And I mean, it was like everybody would be yeah. like, he did? And like my dad was just having fun. It's a different I mean, time people now. People loved him. Yeah, it was hilarious. But you're right. You'd be like, it's crazy. But they said, knock her down as hard as you can. But yep. she my, was like this big. Yeah. My best hit ever in lacrosse was, was hitting Rachel you know, Topel. Rachel Topel. She yes. doesn't mind. She's going to come on the show. Oh. So she lives not too far from you in Wellfleet. She does. She is a firefighter in East Ham, Cape Cod. Oh. And... She does give a lot of Narcan out. I do have to say, oh, that you well, just be yeah. honest, because that's what she does. Yeah. Kate. So, you know, and oh, look at how great these look. So he's just adding what we want. See, we said 10 minutes left, and then he's going to do a five and a one. So it's a ton of time. And then it's funny. I was telling Brett that there's not a lot of restaurants open on Monday nights. Not in Farmington, anyway. What about in Brookline? You can always go out to eat. Always go out. Always. Well, it's a city. Yeah, it's more of a city than Farmington. Always, always. What's the best restaurant that everybody says, not even if it's you, in Brookline? Oh. Or the fanciest? Like, where did Tom Brady go with Giselle? That's where I want Well, to go. Tom Brady used to go to Lamora. Lamora? His favorite dish was the bolognese. The bolognese That's from, Lamora? from Lamora. That's where Tom Brady loved to go. Did you ever but go there? I've gone to Lamora, yeah. Is it nice? It is nice. It is nice. Yeah. Up to date, like, like decorated We had a little bar nice. mitzvah party at Lamora. You did? For my, a bar mitzvah? Wow. Yeah, for I my, love it. Uh, Really? Yes. <laughs> For my son. He had a bar really? mitzvah, and the night before the bar mitzvah, oh we had a party at Lamora. God, it's totally nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you can mix this up. You know, you can do the hydrangeas sometimes are purpley. And what you want to do, I was telling Brett, like, put some of the white in there. And don't worry if you haven't mixed all right, it all together. Mine are kind of like well, you dying can do, black. Nope, throw it in. And mine is kind of looking blacky, too. But you know what will happen is it will dry in like five minutes, and you can go right over it. And when all in, is done and clear, you can make everything the blue hydrangeas because everybody really likes the blue ones. Now, what do I do if I'm losing my house like this? Oh, losing the house. Okay, so hold on. What we're going to do, we're going to trade for a minute. He's okay. going to add to mine. I'm going to add to him because this is kind of fun too. Never done this. Well, yeah, we have. So I'm taking him. He's taking mine. And then I'm going to do a couple little things to fix his because this is fun too. It's sort of like... Like, I have a friend, and she always invites me to, hi, Eileen. She always invites me to trivia. And I always say, like, seriously? Like, you think I'm smart? Believe it or not, I used to be a trivia host. Like, really? In Boston. <laughs> I yes, I did, did that after radio. Did. Really? I was a trivia better host. Or better at the questions? I was a better at the great questions. trivia host. I'm still recognized in Boston for As trivia. As a trivia host. As a trivia host. Oh, my God. Really? That's I hilarious. Isn't that strange? All sorts of trivia. Did you do it at like, bars and restaurants? I did that at a bar. You did? Every week at the TAM on Tuesday the nights. The TAM. That's in bar, um, Cambridge. Nope. Boston. It is? The TAM is right downtown. It's Boston. short for something long, right? Something Irish. But Hold on. Know. Is it near Great Scott? No. The no. TAM is right down in the theater district. It near is? Near there. Yeah. I know. I've heard of it. That's yeah. fun. The theater director is like where Murray was. So, yeah, every Tuesday night. Really? Yeah, the Tam, yeah. And then everybody would come in and do the All th these Emerson kids would come in. And you'd have the mic and just take I'd it over. I'd have the mic and, yeah, and entertain. Emerson is a good college. Yeah. Was that near um, where you live? That's in actually Brookline, isn't it? Well, no, that's no, downtown, not. but, you know, it's easy. Emerson. Everything's close. And a lot of our friends, I know, uh, uh, He's going to the five minutes. I can't really see. It's pathetic, really. But my kids drove me home last <laughs> night from Northampton because I can't, I can't really see at night. You, you wear glasses. You know what? I have the same problem. I, I know. can't see at night. I know. No, I'm in trouble sucks. when I leave here. Yeah. I know. Well, yeah. you know what? That's the thing. It's like you can borrow a pair of mine, but sometimes I, you know, I just can't. Yeah, that's, that's what. It's okay once I'm on the highway, but once I'm looking for signs and stuff, I like even a number, like 23. I don't know what it says. I, I can't. That's what happens when you're in your oh, that's teens. Great. Yeah. So we go. So our friend Eric that he used to play football with. So he's a friend of ours, still lives in Northampton. He's an eye doctor. Yeah. 
owns its own business. Does a lot of really people well. still live there, right? A lot of our friends raised their kids there. Um, it's not that I didn't want to. I don't know what, what, what the heck. I mean, I definitely didn't really want or need my parents' help, even though that would have been nice. Now that I look back, I'm like, damn, I could have dropped my parents. You know, my parents oh, your parents could've. gave you help, though? They, uh, yeah, but when you live farther away, it's not yeah, like you can just true. say. But sometimes my dad and mom would just drive down and get McDonald's, and then they'd just show up at the school and be like, hi, kids. Oh, really? Even if they just spent five minutes with them. So we're just like straightening out the roof line, which is All fun. Right. Oh, wow. Here. So that's fun. So what about the Celtics now? So the Celtics, now, now I'm just a fan. I love to watch it with my boys. Now, do you think uh, we'll they'll have a chance? Games. This, yeah, really? They, they yeah. love to go to the games? I, I think that they have a chance That must be fun bringing them both. Oh, I, I love bringing my kids to games. You can fill in all this grass, too, well, for I'm me. afraid to touch yours. You're no, no, fill in this okay. grass. Right. Yeah, he's going to fill in the grass. I'm just going to fix paint. the... So they that must be fun. I think that's yeah. fun. I told you, I thought we were here to cook. I like Much better cook. Oh, yeah, that's right. Now, did you ever run a restaurant or anything? No, but I used to wait tables and bartend yeah. and, you know. Yeah, I know. I kind of loved it. First job at the Northampton Brewery. Really? Yeah, I was a waiter in high school. It's Not still there. A dishwasher in high school. Doesn't Susan Sarandon's brother own it? The Northampton Brewery? Does he really? I think he does. Oh, really? Yeah. Paul and Elizabeth's, remember? I love it there. Did Hello, you work Paul? there? I did. I did worked Did you there. really? I yeah, love it. It's still open. To Boston. Yeah. We're adding windows. And like, sometimes when you just like kind of define your window quick, it kind of okay. can look nice. And I, I'm just doing that quick with his. But even if we're still swapping uh, paintings, we're still going to bring home a really good painting. A little nice face in this one. Though. And we didn't. Well, you can also get a smaller brush. Like you can get right. like this one you can kind of leave in there. Right. And the greatest thing, Brett, is these dang acrylic paints. They also come off. So like if you get it on the table, it oh, comes off. Yeah, so this is also a good one if you wanted to redo your window. You can also scrape off any mistakes yeah, like this. Thank you. And then wipe it there. I know, right? No, so, better. So wait, what did you say? Your, your wife is like the director of education. Yeah, the Brookline Education Foundation. Jesus. Yeah, my wife. So. And she's in charge. She writes grants. A big. She does, yeah. 12 months a year, all year round. 12 months a year, yeah, yep, she year does. And she's happy. Oh, and she used to work. So it's, um, his son, the younger one, goes to a private school. You're really happy with it. Yeah, right? yeah. Shady yeah. Hill. I love Shady, Shady Hill. Shady Hill? Yeah. And it's part, it's in, no, you said it's Cambridge. It's in Cambridge. Cambridge. Yeah. Shady Hill's in Cambridge. And Brookline and Cambridge go right. You know what? Amazingly, a bus comes right at the end of our street in Brookline. Of it takes them to Cambridge. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I know. It's oh, God. <laughs> I love it. Well, I when I was first, when I went to Boston University, they didn't have en enough dorms for us. And so my roommate, her dad, paid for us to live at the, I don't know if they still have it there, but it's called the Hyatt. It's in Cambridge, right on that. Yeah. Right on the Charles. Yep. And they have a restaurant on the top of it called the Spinnaker, and it spins around in circles. I think while it's you're still eating. there. I think it's still there. It might be. So I, like, got to go to the Spinnaker. Did you, know? you get sick? No, because it goes really slow. So you could oh. actually like kind of step off. Like the space needle. But say you had a couple glasses of wine. You'd be like, hold on, I'm using the bathroom. You'd step off, the whole restaurant would spin. And then you're like, okay, where is Moon? Because the whole restaurant spun around by the time you uh -huh. came back. It was kind of neat though. How's the food? Ah, you know, they're always mid when you go to the hotel. Yeah. It's never great. We liked, we had a lot of friends that worked downtown, like in the seafood district. Yeah, So Seaport. like. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, what was the one that Tom Brady likes that you like? Lamora. 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 And what would be your favorite one? We still have a minute Ooh, left. I know. I'm gonna wrap it up quick. I know. I'm more of a brunch person. You I'm are. Prefer, yeah. What about like how, but Davios? Davios. Have I you like ever heard Davios. Of Davios. Yes. Okay. Hello, okay. Steve. I know Steve. You know Steve there. from Davios? I do. So they still have one in Cambridge. They have one in downtown. Seaport. North End too. Yep. No, not in the North End. Downtown, Back Bay. Yeah. Seaport. And then uh, the one out in Chestnut Hill. So I'm just Steve thinking the that. reason why you probably know all these people is probably the same thing what we're doing, right? Radio and television and stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah. Getting around, knowing people. That yes. must be so much fun. Yeah. So hold on. I'm going to take a sip of this water before I choke. It's like, does that ever happen? Do you thank God he asked for water? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So... And the Heimlich is what, this? I mean, I wouldn't be able to save anybody. That's why I always tell people, don't put me in charge of anything. <laughs> You'll be dead by the time we leave. So I'm going to show you what we got. We might do an episode next, but we might not because they're pretty close. So remember, try this at home. Sketch it out. Brett's going to hold up. You know, he and I worked on that one. He and I worked on this one. Just remember, keep your colors tight. 
and have a blast. And we'll see you next time on the crack of dawn. Thanks so much, Brett, for coming on. And you know. Sometimes life just happens. Don't worry. Farmington Motorsports will get you back on the road and at a fair price. From towing to tires, emissions to transmissions. Our ASC certified techs do it all. Farmington Motorsports is a family run business. We're a Napa Auto Center and AAA approved. We work on all makes and models from preventative maintenance to major repairs. And every repair is backed by our two year, 24,000 mile nationwide warranty. When life happens to you, don't worry. Farmington Motorsports. Today, I have a very special guest, Dr. Andrew Lynn. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Veterans Corner. My name is Chuck Wooden. Decision for ourselves for this week, if we want to be made well. Hi, welcome to the crack of dawn. It's Dawn Lombardi. I'm starting the painting. It's going to be the clips with some water. Love it. He took me on the sets of Lost in Space, Batman. Everybody has a story. What's yours? Until next time, 